Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export files from Inkscape. We're going to export in PNG, JPG, SVG, and PDF. So I just have a blank Inkscape page opened. Um, we're gonna resize this document first of all. When we are working with um, designs that are intended for um, DTF printing or sublimation, we want a really high quality design. And what Inkscape pulls up for you just by default is not going to be enough. This is just a standard you know, eight and a half by 11 or A4 size design. So first of all, let's resize this. We're gonna come to file and then document properties. And from here, you can choose if you want to size it in millimeters, if you want to size it in inches, pixels. I'm going to use pixels, so I'm gonna change this from mm to px. And I just like to do 3000 by 3000 pixels. Now we're gonna have a nice square design when we're done. Um, if you are creating SVG files and you want them specifically sized, I suggest coming in here, changing this to inches and getting exactly what you need. But for this, for um, most of what we're probably doing, we're gonna be sublimating, DTF printing. So we're gonna go 3000 by 3000, just hit enter. And you can close this little box out and you can see this got this white space got a lot bigger. I'm decreasing the size of my screen and just kind of repositioning. So you can see we changed from that rectangle, that A4 standard paper into a square, and it is much larger now. So when we go to print this, it's gonna be a high quality. Okay, um, I'm just gonna throw some text onto this design so that we can see how it's all going to work. Let me grab my text tool and let's do the word sample. Let's change that script. I don't, or that font. I don't really like that. So I've double clicked into my font and I've got this font box up here. This is only available to me because I am in my text tool. Um, let's do this gemstone. Okay. Now I'm going to click out of it so that I can resize this. I can just grab the handle here, size it how I want it. And my screen is locked. If the screen were not locked, this thing could go in all kinds of funky ways. But with the screen locked, it just gets bigger and smaller. And you can squish it from the bottom and from the side just by holding those individual arrows. Okay, let's make this a different color. Okay, there's a nice red. Um, just for fun, let's give it a little bit of a stroke. So here's my word. I'm gonna come over to the fill and stroke menu. It's this guy right here, if it's not in your menu panel. And a lot of times when you open a new page, this men menu panel is gonna be like huge. You can just grab it and make it smaller. Um, if you don't see your fill and stroke, just click your little arrow here. You can come and find it over here. It's right there. Okay, so in our fill and stroke menu, I'm gonna to come to the stroke paint. I'm gonna click the first solid box. That put a huge stroke around my word. I don't want it that big. So now I'm gonna to come to stroke style and we're just going to drop this down. In fact, that's gonna to take too long. I'm just gonna put it at a two. That's probably too small. Let's put it at a four maybe a six <laughs> okay so as you can see just play with this that's gonna be better okay so now I have my word I have my stroke around it let's say I am done with my design and I want this to be a PNG or a JPG all right let's export it so you're gonna come to file export it's gonna pull up a whole new menu over here for you, and there are so many different things that we can do. Okay, if I leave it on its just default settings, it is going to export this entire page, but that's gonna leave a lot of white space around my design. 
So what I want to do is click my design and then it automatically went from page to selection, which is what we want. I only want to export this selected part. Now, if you do have a full page design, you are welcome to go ahead and leave it on page or you can drag a box and highlight, you know, your entire design. Um, but if you're doing the selection, so you've got selection here, then come click this export selected only. And from here, you can choose PNG or you can scroll down and you can get JPG. Either one of those are just fine. That's what we're gonna work with for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and select PNG. And you can click this little guy and you can name it. Let's do sample one. And I'm gonna go place that on my desktop. Save. And that is now saved as a PNG. Let me show you. Here is that huge PNG saved to our desktop. Not only is it huge because of the size that we put in to begin with, but this is only at 73%. This is um, a super high quality. If I increase the um, size of this to like 140%, you can see I've still got very defined lines. Nothing has gotten pixelated. Or I can knock it down to like 27%. So that's how we're gonna export PNG. JPG works the exact same way. What if we want an SVG? Okay, when you are dealing with SVG files, um, pixels don't work. The main property of an SVG is to make it a scalable vector so that you can size it up and down without losing any type of um, quality. And you can just take this right now, go ahead and save it as an SVG and it will do that for you. But it will not transfer to a cutting machine like um, Cricut, Silhouette, Brother, Scan and Cut. For those machines to be able to read an SVG file, there has to be a path. Right now, this text is simply that, it's a text. If we wanna cut this, if we want an SVG that can be cut on a machine, we have to turn this into a path. If I just want this word here, I do not want, I'm gonna go turn the stroke off. So here I am in my fill and stroke menu, stroke, I'm gonna click this X to turn it off. Let's say I just want that red word, no problem. I've got the word selected. I'm gonna to come to path, object to path, and now you'll notice if I click this, it no longer says text, it says a path. If I click my nodes, I can see each of these little nodes, which is what will tell your machine where to cut. This can now be exported as an SVG and cut on a machine, but you must turn it into a path. If you want your outline, I'm gonna control Z to get back out of this. Here I am again, we're text. I control Z, which is every, I just undid everything I did. So this is just text again. If you want that outline, you must turn both the um, word into a path and the outline into a path. And that's really easy to do as well. With the word selected, we're gonna come to path and we're gonna do stroke to path. And now, if I double click, I can pull this word out and I've got this, which is a path, and I've got this, which is now also a path. I've got both of these, I can cut them, I'm good to go. I'm gonna put them back together. Let me just kind of even everything up. I'm gonna get my alignment tool here and just make it all nice and pretty again. Okay. Now they are both selected, I can export this as an SVG and it will be able to be cut on a cutting machine. So here's my export tool. It's over here because I've used it before. If I haven't, I can come to File, 
and export. But I'm just going to click the one that's here. Okay. We are going to export the selection. I have both the red word and the black outline selected. And instead of PNG, we're going to go to SVG. It really does not matter if you use Inkscape SVG, plain SVG. It, it's doesn't, it doesn't make any difference, really. Um, it doesn't really make any difference for this simple kind of a project. Okay, let's name it um, Sample 2. And let's place it on our desktop. Okay, and now If I open Cricut Design Space and I come in here to start a new project, And I come to upload an image and let's see, upload here. Let's go browse for that sample too. And continue. Apply and continue.
Okay, so I've got Inkscape SVG. We've named it Sample 2. We're going to hit Export. Okay, so now if I open Cricut Design Space and I come up here to start a new project and I go to Upload and I come Upload Images and I go find Sample 2. There it is, Open and Continue and upload. That is huge. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Uh, let's just make it like, I don't know, six inches. Okay, there we go. You can see this is a layered SVG file. Here's one cut. Here is the other cut. Alrighty. So all that's left now, if we come back over here, let's say we've done PNG, JPG, SVG. Let's say we want to do a PDF. Same thing. Get your whole design here. Take this, change it to PDF. You go name it something different. This time let's call it sample three. Put it on the desktop. Save. There it goes. And... Here is the same thing in PDF format. All right, guys, that's really all there is to it. That is how you export designs that you have created in Inkscape in either JPG, PNG, SVG, or PDF format. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.